there's quite a bit on um, this one. Starting off on Leadenhall Street, so we're looking straight down Whitechapel Road at the moment. You can see St. Botolph's. And this corner at Mitre Square was where George Morris, who'd come out of Mitre Square, the watch, uh, watchman for night, attracted the attention of PC Harvey, who was walking towards us, I suppose, where this chap is in the middle. Uh, that was his beat. Um, and, and PC Holland from across the road. This is Mitre Square. So we're actually walking uh, PC Watkins' beat at the moment, or part of it. Um, Mitre Square itself is just up ahead. Um, it's a lot more open than it, it was at the time. There were buildings here on, on the right. Um, so Church Passage, St James Passage as it is now, is pretty much directly ahead of where we're looking. That's the, the murder spot just by the, the edge of the kerb, um, further into the square. Um, but of course, you know, none of the buildings around Mighty Square are, 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 have survived. So PC Watkins would have entered the square just through here, and that's where he'd have found the body. Um, George Morris um, was, was working in uh, on the other side of the square, and he was pulled out. Just up on the left here, um, in a second, um, Haim Haim's, he, um, one of the suspects, he didn't live there at the time. This was several years earlier, I think 1881. Uh, on the census, um, his, his father had an address there, um, so you, you could say he was at least uh, familiar with the uh, familiar with the area. This would be part of Watkins Beat as well, walking up the road. Um, incredibly tight the times around this uh, around the Catherine Eddowes murder. Um, you know, two policemen. Um, basically, walk around and walk to the side of Mitre Square in a second. This is Cree Church Lane. Uh, was King Street just down to the right? Um, you would go through this is some kind of sugar lane alley, something it's called. Um, would have gone through to an open place, uh, the Orange Market at the back of Mitre Square. Um, all kind of built or built over and things down. Hennage Lane um, used to run parallel to uh, King Street. Um, it, it's very probable that um, Jack made his escape. Through that, through that way, why I say it's prob probable, um, he probably didn't go into Mitre Square, possibly uh, Mitre Street, sorry, uh, where he might have been seen by um, PC Watkins. Probably didn't go back up Church Passage, although he might have done. This just seems more like the the natural escape route. Um, probably didn't come down here. Probably went down King's Lane, which was parallel to it. So back out now onto um, Duke's Place or Duke Street as was. And again, looking south, and you can see again Mitre Square now uh, behind all these blue boards. So there would have been the, the synagogue where these blue boards are. Um, approximately in the middle of the frame, just behind that uh, traffic light, that building, sort of red brick building, there's a big white window, that is on the side of um, Church Passage, St. James's Passage, which we'll see in a second, just to get an idea of the distances. So PC Harvey's beat would have come down here. Um, you have actually gone down Church Passage and then round the back to um, where this video started. Just here, approximately on the left, would have been the Imperial Club. Uh, this is where the three witnesses, um, Harry Harris, although he probably said he didn't see anything, um, Joseph Levy and Lavender, saw um, possibly just there on, on Church Passage, as highlighted. Um, so they would have been here waiting for five minutes as they came out, Joseph Levy drew their attention to the couple um, who were later identified as Catherine Eddowes, who had a back to us here. Um, so just there, top of uh, Church Passage. And there was a male um, facing facing their direction. Um, and Lavender was able to give a, uh, a description of him. Joseph Levy is the interesting character, perhaps, because uh, he drew their attention to to them to start with and, and said something along the lines of I, I don't like going home on my own with um, people like that about a lot of speculation whether he actually recognised uh, the, the person the, the male who he saw um, he was according to a newspaper report reluctant to, to go to the inquest we'll come down Cree Church line uh, now so we we'll double back on ourselves a little bit <clears throat> Interestingly, or maybe not interestingly, um, Harry Harris lived um, 
much further to this is Houndsditch, so basically back up towards Bishopgate Way, Commercial Road. Um, and Lavendia lived in Dalston, about a mile to the north. Um, Joseph Levy, the one who didn't want to go on his home on his own, um, actually lived in the direction we're walking. So they were walking for some reason the other way, uh, the other direction, whether they just wanted to go to Whitechapel Road for something. I don't know, but they didn't come back this way. Maybe the streets um, at, at that time weren't too pleasant to be around. So this bit's a bit a little bit nondescript. It's not too long. It's um, just to sort of fill in the the blanks of, of where we are. This is um, a street called White Kennet Street coming up. So it's taking not very long um, to get down here. 30 seconds or so. And across the road, just at the bottom of the road here, you can just about make out. Oh, I just did, there we go. Right at the far end of the road, you can see Oldgate Tube Station, we saw before. Um, St. Botolph's Church uh, would be next to that. And is Gravel Lane. Sort of existed in, in this state, I suppose. Um, it, it, you know, it was actually there. Just where those arches are, probably approximately. Um, a road went down to Hutchison Street, Hutchison, sorry, um, which is where Joseph Levy, the witness, had his um, shop, his butcher's shop. So it's, it's what, a, a minute, minute and a half maybe from the, the club they were at? If that, um, not very far at all. And we're coming up now to Middlesex Street, um, 36 Middlesex Street, which is actually just down to the right. Uh, on this side of the road, so just to the right of where we are now. Um, uh, Joseph Levy's father had a, a butcher's shop as well. So you can see everything's you know, pretty closely, um, everything's quite tight. So you've got Joseph Levy, the witness, you've got Jacob Levy, a current suspect, you've got Hyam, Hyams, another suspect. Joseph uh, Levy's middle name was Hyam, so Joseph Hyam Levy. Uh, his father was called that. So you've got these um, three characters, uh, one witness, two potential suspects, all living in very close proximity, all with sort of slightly confusing names um, in that you can uh, easily confuse which one's which. Uh, and here we are anyway, down New Goulston Street, and here's Goulston Street at the end with the Happy Days Chippy, a fish restaurant, and uh, just to the left of the doorway there is where the apron was dropped and the message, short message was found.